Welcome folks. I want us to go through the topic magnetic effect of electric current. Okay? So we are talking about two things using that heading. There is effect of magnetism and due to electric current. So there is there is something we are going to observe when current flows in a conductor. When current flows in a conductor, there is something that you observe. And that observation will be made on something known as compass. A compass is a device that rests in a north-south direction. It tells us even if you are moving in your car, which direction are you heading to? It is affected by magnet. Okay? A compass is affected by magnet. Now, magnetic effect of electric current. That is our topic. We don't have a magnet per se, but we are observing things that relate to magnets. The observation we are making is as if we have a magnet. Yet, there is no magnet per se. In quotes. In place of magnet, we are seeing electric current flowing in a conductor. Conductor is a wire, okay? So when you have a switch and you have a cell, you have connected the cell, the switch, and the wire. When the switch is on, current will flow in that wire. That wire, we call it a conductor, okay? We don't have a magnet as such. In its place, we are using current carrying conductor. A conductor of electricity. Not conductors and insulators. Bad conductors, good insulators. No. We are talking about conductor of electricity. A material, a substance that allows electrons to flow through it so it is conductor of electricity or conductor of electrons that would be very good conductor of electrons so that conductor not of matter to that conductor when current flows through it there is something we are observing and then we are wondering how come how come yet we don't have a magnet? That is the heading for our topic. Okay? So, the first thing we are going to observe, if you are in school, to carry out an experiment with the following gadgets. We are going to carry out an experiment using a compass. It is the key which gives us observation. The compass, we have got the cells, we have the switch. Okay? We have the cell and the switch. So the cell and the switch don't pay attention very much. We are paying attention to current carrying conductor. A wire that allows current to flow through it. Two, what happens to this compass? Because the compass is affected when you bring a magnet near. Yet, we don't have a magnet. We don't have a magnet. But, we can see the compass deflecting. Deflecting. We can see the compass deflecting. Yet, we don't have a magnet. So what happens? That is the central of our study. So we are going to have, I'm going to draw the first figure 
if we have a current carrying conductor, a wire. That is a wire. Okay? Now on this wire, I place a compass. A compass. So that is a compass. Maybe I can shade it a bit. That is a compass. The compass we have placed we have placed a magnet on top of the wire or you can have a wire on top of the compass so whichever way whether the compass is above the wire or below the wire on the conductor you can see there is no arrow what does that mean no current and when there is no current, it is still in the north-south direction. It is in the north-south direction. That is experiment one. I have taken a wire. In that wire, there is nothing happening. There is no flow of electrons and therefore we say there is no current. Current is shown using an arrow. So since there is no arrow, what does it mean? No current. What effect does that have on the compass? No effect, because the compass is north, south direction. Folks, that is experiment one. Now I want us to look at experiment two. Okay? Experiment two. Experiment two is when we have the current. You see now, that wire has an arrow. That arrow tells me there is current. Then whether we place this magnet on top or below, we see there is deflection. Remember, the deflection of a compass when you are doing magnetism was caused by a magnet. The presence of a magnet made a deflection of the pointer. But now we don't have a magnet. We only have a compass and a wire which has current. Current is flowing through the wire. So I'm not interested in the other part of the circuit. Remember I told you two key things. Compass and conductor. So two things. Your mind. Compass and conductor. So we are seeing that if we have the current, by virtue of seeing this arrow, it means current is flowing. Then when we have this deflection, you see now it is no longer in this position. Eh? It is no longer in this position. It has deflected. It has deflected. Eh? It has deflected because of this current. So that is what we want to study. There is no magnet, boys. No magnet. But there is deflection. Very interesting. Eh? So that is what we say magnetic effect due to electric current. We don't have a magnet as C, but we have current flowing in a conductor, creating, causing a deflection. We don't have a magnet, but we have a current carrying conductor that causes this. So, in experiment 2 is our major concentration. I'm repeating, experiment 1, we had a compass and current carrying conductor, but there was no current, there was no arrowhead. The pointer remained in north-south. Experiment 2, irrespective of the position of the compass, ukiweka chini ya wire, 
ama umeiweka juu ya waya tunaona pointer imesonga pointer kwa kawaida ya compass husonga ikiwa kuna sumaku if there is a magnet a pointer deflects but now we don't have we don't have a magnet what do we have a conductor through which electrons are flowing we call that current carrying conductor so irrespective of position of compass we can see the deflection so what happens that is the bottom line okay so let us look at some few diagrams here and see that let us get few diagrams and then see what happens let us have diagram number one diagram number one okay i want us to concentrate on diagram number one i have here the current because of the arrow so let us interpret the diagram this arrow shows current is flowing in that direction this has deflected don't worry you will know how to get that deflection but the fact remains it is not pointing up vertically okay you can see there is a difference it is not vertically up it has gone this side it has gone this side right i want you to get the difference between this diagram and that diagram in diagram one the compass is above the wire the compass is above the wire okay the compass is above the wire that's why i'm not seeing the wire on the diagram here i'm not seeing but in this diagram you can see the wire is seen throughout the wire is seen you can see you can see this part the wire i can see the wire here but here you are not seeing the wire here so you should know how to interpret your diagram this one compass is above the wire this one the wire is above the compass okay so we want to understand how do you draw the deflection you can write if you imagine to be swimming along the wire imagine you are swimming along the wire or in short you are the wire <laughs> and the arrow is the direction of current you are head those who know how to swim you will get it but if you know how to swim in air that is walking you can't you imagine swimming along a wire in the direction of the current the direction of the current is shown by the arrow or in quotes you are head and facing the compass so key thing you are swimming in the direction of the arrow and you are facing the compass so you always see the compass you always see the compass key thing always see the compass then the north pole of the needle is deflected to the left to your left boys i'm repeating i am the swimmer i'm the swimmer the arrow is my head you know is not backstroke boys but even backstroke your head will be facing back eh? backstroke and i don't know the other one like this i don't know how is it called i know backstroke is like that so that is backstroke you see so you are facing the cloud the cloud is your the cloud is your compass the other situation is freestyle i guess freestyle eh freestyle freestyle 
So you are facing the bottom of the pool. So the compass in one situation is the bottom of the pool. In some cases it is the cloud. Okay. So you can see if I am a swimmer and I'm facing the bottom of the pool, I'm a conductor and I'm facing the bottom of the pool because my eyes can see the bottom of the pool. Backstroke. Backstroke. I'm facing the cloud. So always remember the key thing is facing the compass. Then the deflection will always be on your left. Okay? So before I conclude, let us look at this. Let us look at this. So this is like backstroke. Backstroke because the compass is on top and I have to face. That is the cloud. Okay? You can see the deflection is on the left. Let us go to this. This is the bottom of the pool because you can see the arrow. The arrow is here. The arrow is here. And you can see the wire is continuous. So we can see the wire, meaning that the wire is on top of the compass. I am facing the bottom of the pool. So the deflection is to my left. Remember, this is my head, eh? so this is to the left. Key things, head is the arrow, face compass always, deflection goes to left. There, boys, there, you can see it, nice. So, head is the arrow, face the compass always, and the deflection will always be to the left. So I've done one, I've done two, I want you to try three and four points. Try. Remember, I can swim freestyle, I can swim backstroke. It will help you. Keep on subscribing so that you get more. Tell your friends also. Don't usue mchoyo, okay? Bye bye.